Hi, my name is Michael Shea, and this is the Ask Mike section um, in which we have students uh, actually email us, uh, and very often in class, questions. And I get a very interesting question on a regular basis, and, and that is, what is a biodynamic CV4? So for those of you that may be watching this video, a CV4 is compression of the fourth ventricle. Well, that gives you a very classical understanding in which originally uh, mechanical forces were placed on the occiput bilaterally, uh, just medial of the occipital mastoid suture. And those compressive forces were designed to create a, what is called a still point in the fourth ventricle. So we don't hardly do that anymore uh, in biodynamic practice, although it, it can have some value, because I can tell you that sometimes I am on a plane for many, many hours flying to Europe, and the first thing I want to have is a mechanical still point, a CV4 on my head, because it really relieves the, my jet lag. But in general, you know, we've got clients coming in, and the way in which biodynamic practice works is that you have your hands, let's say, um, on the body, and I do a classical uh, hand position called a CV, not a CV4, but actually uh, it's called PA top position, where I have a hand under the shoulder and a hand under the, um, under the knee or under the hamstring. But you could really sense this anywhere because, number one, we're trying to sense the client three-dimensionally. We're trying to sense within that three-dimensionality primary respiration moving from the midline out and back. And within that, sometimes we can feel what's called the mid-tide or a bit of a faster rhythm that's going at around 12 to 15 seconds um, in one direction and 12 to 15 seconds in another direction. When you feel and manage the client three-dimensionally and your perception goes to this slightly faster rhythm on the midline, then you simply observe the activity of that rhythm, of that mid-tide, and you just notice when it coalesces back on the midline, does it stop? Does it go into a still point? Or does it then go through its other cycle and expand out and do a still point in its most expansive phase? And that would be called EV4, expansion of the fourth ventricle. Now obviously these terms, CV4 and EV4, don't relate to the fourth ventricle anymore but they relate to a sense of the midline. And your ability as a practitioner to sense a slow to medium slow tempo, holistically and three-dimensionally, moving towards the midline and away from the midline, and whether or not you can perceive that that motion stops, takes a pause, goes into a still point along the midline, and if it does that, it would be called a biodynamic CV4. Now, if it doesn't, and that rhythm expands out, that medium to slow tempo within the fluid body, and expands out, and then goes into a still point, that would be called the EV4. And all the biodynamic practitioner does with their hands and with your own sensibility is just to notice if it's going into still point. You don't do anything. It's an observational process. So you're observing where is this motion stopping, holistically and three-dimensionally. Just observing it and sitting and waiting. And noticing when it comes out of the CV4 or if it comes out of the EV4 and the motion starts again, has the motion increased its amplitude? Has there been uh, a benefit in terms of a change in the whole ability of the fluid body to synchronize with primary respiration and therefore the health of the body to become stronger? So thank you. That's a really good question.